hello viewers welcome back let's look at the advanced settings and we are now going to look at the advanced excel settings we are in that option for adva the advanced section so let's pop down to this section right here the advanced section we can use the down arrow to move into that advanced section as you can see so we want to discuss this first option at the top the first option at the top is right here after placing enter move select move selection so that is the first option at the top of this advanced feature so we are now it says after pressing enter whether or not we want the selection to move in other words we are trying to look at the direction of the cursor if we press the enter key where do we want our cursor to go that's the direction we are trying to look at now so that's what we are basically focusing on so that's what we are we are looking at we want to see the direction where our cursor should go after placing the enter key or after tapping the enter key now this is by default set in other words this default setting for for the software you are seeing the default setting it is after placing enter move selection direction down in other words it's by it's by default on the down the down line in other words when you place the enter key the cursor goes down that's the movement of the cursor so this is the default setting for the software but if you could see we could change that so that may be the selection could move downwards because these are the uh, these are the options that we have if you click on this on this arrow we are seeing we have the option of making the selection to move downwards to move right to move up or left those are the options that we have there but it's probably most common to leave this on down that's that's the most common but what we could also do is look at this selecting this option entirely in other words we have the option of deselecting it entirely in other words we can just come and deselect it we don't put any we don't we, we just leave it as disabled so now as you can see with this option deselected we want to look at how the software would behave or would react as a result of deselecting that option of of not moving the cursor downwards we want to we want to look at how the software excel software is going to behave with that so what we can do to find a way how we can prove that let's first click ok to that setting we come down here can click ok to that setting so we are now set it at that point so now we want to let's try to maybe try to find a test to do a test of how we are going to see the reaction we just want to do a test and we see the reaction of that so we pressed enter let's maybe try to zoom in a little bit we said zooming in or zoom out is control alt equals that we shall that way we, sh we shall get that way it will get us zoomed in like the way you've seen so let's now try to do a test and see what will be the reaction after deselecting that option so let's imagine we need to enter some data into our spreadsheet so let's try to put maybe we are just going to put numbers 
let, let me just put in this cell one i put in number one so i want you to notice when i tap the enter key or when i click the enter key or when i place the enter key what is going to happen after deselecting the other because that's what we are trying to we, we want to see where is the cursor going because we deselected the option so now let's just hit enter i've tapped the enter key but the cursor did not move so we've seen i place the enter key but the cursor doesn't move so that's the that's the logic that's what we've been trying to to see from that perspective because previously if we had left it at that option the cursor would move to to the next cell but we've seen now the cursor is not moving because we deselected that option so now we need to select the down arrow because now if you want if you want the cursor to move because we are put in our number one one now to put in number two as our these figures we are just putting in figures so for you to, to to have that cursor move you have to press the down arrow like that to move the cursor from that cell c1 to cell c2 then after moving the cursor with that down arrow then we, we can put in number two then you press enter the cursor doesn't move so we have to place again the down arrow to put in number three then also we put in three we press enter the cursor doesn't move we have to click the down arrow just like the way you are you are seeing it if you go to number four we have also to do the same when you press enter the cursor doesn't move you have to click on the down arrow just like it the way you've seen so this can because now we are seeing this this obviously is going to be time consuming and remember our target is to make sure that we are working on a speed and we are doing things efficiently so this is time consuming because it is involving a lot of key strokes we have to be stroking those keys different keys down arrow the up arrow to, to make those cars move so we can now let's hold down the the shift key let's hold down the shift key and now we we, we highlight upwards by using the up arrow we are going to we, we we've used we we've tapped shift we hold it then we click on the upper arrow to move that high to highlight upwards if you want to highlight downwards you place the shift key then you start you click the down arrow to highlight downwards cell by cell so that's how we do a highlighting highlighting upwards or downwards then let's let's just let's just hit the delete key when you hit the delete key it means you are you are deleting all the highlighted figures and let's now try to do let's now try doing doing what we have done in a different way the other way that we could do it is we could use the shift key higher downwards for where i want to enter the data because now if you if you want to enter one two three four you can just come here maybe to cell d2 you hold down the shift you highlight downwards to where you want to put the data we had one two three four so we can stop on that four those are four cells so that's one of the different that's the second different way how we can enter the data so then now we can now start and start putting in our numbers one enter two enter three place the enter key then four you can also press enter to get out so that's how that's the second way we put we can be able to put in data so remember that's the second approach of how we can enter data 
in spreadsheet. And that's pretty, it is actually very fast. We've entered the data very fast. We can now come and tap the delete key. Because when you tap the delete key, or if you click on that, or if you hit or click on that delete key, we are going to see that it's going to delete the data. It has gone. So I want us also to look at another way or another technique, which is even faster. So we can maybe try to put the data in, in cell E1. We can now go to, we could hit one and then hit the down arrow. We put two, we hit the down arrow without pressing enter key. Then three, we hit the down arrow. Four, we hit the down arrow. So that's the third of how we can actually enter data in spreadsheet in a very faster way. So that also can help us to load data as well. So it's also good to, to know that these techniques work even horizontally or they can work in a horizontal way as well. So let's delete this and go and go back up here to maybe to the, the other way where we started we've said what you do you hold down the shift highlight upwards and click the delete key you have deleted all of them at once so now what we are going to do right up here is we are going to put in our data horizontally these techniques of entering data, they also work in a horizontal way.